Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2009 Mercedes-Benz C300 that we have on the lot. Now, I'm not a Mercedes expert, but I'm going to show you as best I can what this vehicle is all about. As you can see, it's in black is the color. It does have fog lights here in the front. Alloy wheels. Four-wheel disc brakes. Take a look here at the passenger door. You've got some storage pockets there. Wood grade trim. You have perforated leather seats with power adjustments there on the side for the passenger. You have like a little net pocket there. Glove compartment. It has a power supply and a iPod plug in there. Here's the back door. You do have a storage pocket, speaker, wood grade trim. Perforated leather seats. This folds down. And you've got a storage pocket there. Like so. And this lifts up. And you have some cup holders. Fuel cap is on the passenger side. This does have the 4MATIC V6 engine with dual exhaust. There's the key. Does not have remote start or anything. I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk. It does lift up without any assistance. Here's the trunk here. Apparently, it comes with a first aid kit. The back seats do fold down. This lifts up, that's where your spare tire is, and your tools, and it comes with some gloves. This little door here is where your fuse box is located, which I like. Nice and convenient to get to, it's better than underneath the dash. This one does have a sunroof, which I'll show you that when we get inside. Here's the inside of the back door, same thing as the other side. There's the inside of the driver's door. Now that you've got your um, your speaker, you got a storage pocket, also you can open up the trunk there. You do have your power seat controls on the door on this side, it's different with some presets. You can unlock and lock the doors there. Your power window controls, side mirror controls are there. This one in particular has a little tear there on the seat. Automatic headlights. I'm going to go ahead and hop in, start it up. This is newly traded in, and it's telling me that it hadn't had its oil change yet. There's the gauges. There's your controls for your, your menu there. Kind of have a glare there from the sun. We do have a electric telescoping and tilt steering wheel. Has like a little joystick here on the side. 
cruise control settings is there, windshield wipers is there. Looks like the microphone for your Bluetooth system is here. There's your controls for that. The volume is here. Pretty comfortable seat. Adjust up and down. Kind of like a dentist chair. Now you're probably thinking, where's the radio at? It's actually in here. When you open up this door, it comes on for you. Pretty good sound in stereo too. It says, do not let this system distract you. That's good advice. Turn the volume down a little bit. It kind of has like a old-fashioned radio dial there which you can control with this little joystick here move it like that I can go up and down left and right go back clear takes a little getting used to but that's your radio system there's your, where you put your CD in. There's the volume. You can change the stations there too as well. You can answer the phone and hang up there. Do you have heated seats here in the front? It does have a three stage system. One, two, three. Three, three different temperatures. Your climate control is down here. Kind of behind this shifter. We're going to put it in reverse down there that way you can get shifter get out of the way so you can see it, it does have a dual zone automatic uh, system where you can you know set the exact temperatures now I notice this does have ashtray sitting in here but um, I, don't, I don't smell any uh, any sign smell or see any sign of uh, that this vehicle's been smoked in but something to look for when you're looking for a new used vehicle there's the shifter going to put it back in park there's your cup holders. Now this armrest kind of pops open with this button here on the side. I'm going to push it. It pops both of them open like that. And you've got like a little storage compartment for I guess a cell phone or something. There's a padded place there to store some stuff. Rear view mirror is auto dim. It does have a digital compass right there which you can turn off of this button. Like so. Under here is your garage door controls. You do have some lights. Let's see here. They kind of fade in and fade out. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. Sunroof. Control it with this button here. This one's kind of loud. But that's how you control it. Put this button right there. And then you have a shade. Like that visor lift it up open it up and you've got a little light that comes on when you lift that up same thing on that side all right let's uh, let's look underneath the hood under here somewhere is the it's kind of hard to find oh right there see that orange thing it's orange as if you can see it but it's hidden so good open up the hood Covered up with plastic, as in most vehicles nowadays are. But what's interesting, it looks like there's like a heat sink right there on top of the, top of the engine. It's pretty neat. It is a smooth running engine, quiet. Overall, it seems to be a nice car.
all right there you have it if you have any questions my email address and phone number will be in the description see you next time